Yes, friends, welcome once again to the class and let's move on towards our next lecture of nuclear and particle physics in which we are going to learn about the predictions of shell model. Let's just, uh, just a second, let's, let me see whether the recording is on or not. Okay, so the recording is on. So we are going to learn about the predictions of shell model. Okay. Now, uh, before that, we are going to see this particular table to find the magic numbers and this particular table also with the help of practice you should remember. Okay this particular table which has been shown over here this also you must remember with the help of practice now first of all you should draw the energy level diagram in the rough notebook uh, in the rough part of your answer sheet i mean in the examination what you should do is you should draw this energy level diagram in the rough work section of the answer sheet there is given a rough work section in the answer sheet in upsc okay so in that you should uh, draw this energy level diagram and after you draw this energy level diagram over there you can clearly draw this table after that okay if if in case in any answer you need to draw the table okay so this is the procedure you should follow in order to draw the table it is easier to draw the table if you draw the energy level diagram first although although with the help of practice this should also be in your mind okay perfectly in your mind this table now let us see this table the very first energy level is 1s okay in this energy level diagram the very first shell is 1s okay so let us see in our table to find magic number so the shell number is first okay the shell number is first so let me mark over here this is shell number first so let us mark it this is what shell number first okay and as this is shell number first so the states are 1s half okay 1s half so let us see this is what this is your 1s half okay this is 1s half and this is your very first shell okay now so this this has basically two electrons uh, not electrons sorry nucleons two nucleons okay so you can see over here two nucleons okay and um, a magic number has been arrived so the first shell is complete okay now let us look at the second shell this is what this is your second shell shell number two so you can clearly see over here that one is half then two is the number of nucleons and total number of nucleons is also two okay so one is half number of proton or neutron that is 2j plus one that is two so total number of proton or neutron that will be two so one is half has two nucleons in it now the second shell is starting over here now let us see the second shell this is your second shell in the second shell 2p half and 2p 3 by 2 are the two energy levels out of which 2p 2p 3 by 2 is in the lower portion and 2p half is in the upper portion means the upper energy level is 2p half and the no lower energy level after splitting lower energy level after splitting is 2p 3 by 2 okay so 2p 3 by 2 has four nucleons by the formula 2j plus 1 so 2 into 3 by 2 plus 1 that will be 4 and 2p half will have two nucleons okay 2p 3 by 2 has 4 nucleons, 2p half will have 2 nucleons, again by the formula 2j plus 1, 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 that will be equal to 2. So now the total number of nucleons in this will be 4 plus 2 that is 6. Now the total number of nucleons filled up till now, total number of nucleons filled up till now that will be 2 plus 6 that is equal to 8. Okay. Total number of nucleons filled up till now that is 2 plus 6 that is equal to 8. Okay. Now 8 nucleons have been filled so second shell is filled up, second shell is filled up okay and 8 nucleons are over, over, done over here, 8 nucleons are done over here. So you can see that 8 nucleons are done over here okay, so 4, 4 is the number of nucleons in 2p 3 by 2, 2 is the number of nucleons in 2p half okay, so total number of nucleons is 6, so total number of proton or neutron that will be equal to 8 okay. So you can clearly see this now the third shell is being started okay so you can see that 2 plus 6 equal to 8 magic number encountered so the third shell starts now you, you can see over here the third shell is starting over here this is what this is your third shell okay this is your third shell this is your third shell okay so this 3d will be split into two parts 3d will be split into two, two parts 3d 3d 3 by 2 3d 5 by 2 3d 5 by 2 will be the lower energy level 3d 3 by 2 will be the higher energy level 
and uh, how 3 by 2 and 5 by 2 numbers have been obtained how the numbers uh, that is the values values of j 3 by 2 this particular value of j 3 by 2 and this particular value of j 5 by 2 how it has been obtained you can clearly see that s p d okay so 0 1 2 is the so l equal to 2 for d l equal to 2 for d right so l equal to 2 for d now for d l equal to 2 so 2 plus half will be 5 by 2 2 minus half will be 3 by 2 so that's how you obtain these energy levels okay the values of j and 2s lies in between the two 3d subshells between the two 3d subshells 2s lies okay now 2s uh, l equal to 0 for s okay so only one value is possible that is 1 by 2 j value only one is possible so 2s half so this I, I have already explained in the previous lectures so you can clearly see that 3d 5 by 2 has 6 nucleons 2s half has 2 nucleons 3d 3 by 2 has 4 nucleons okay so 3d 5 by 2 has 6 nucleons 2s half has 2 nucleons 3d 3 by 2 has 4 nucleons so total number of nucleons is 12 if you add the total number of nucleons filled up till now so 2 plus 6 plus 12 that is equal to 20 it is the total number of nucleons filled up till now now the magic number has been encountered so third shell is over third shell is over this is what this is your third shell this is what this is your third shell okay and this is your what this is your second shell this is your second shell and this is what this is your first shell okay i have already told to you in the previous lectures also so you can see so you can see over here 3d 5 by 2 okay third shell third shell has been encountered 3d 5 by 2 has six nucleons 2s 1 by 2 has two nucleons 3d 3 by 2 has four nucleons total number of nucleons is 12 in this particular shell third in this third shell 12 nucleons are there okay so clearly 6 plus 2 plus 12 that is 20 is the total number of nucleons magic number encountered so we will move on towards the fourth shell this is the fourth shell now let us have a look at the fourth shell okay so where is the fourth shell you can see over here that this was the first shell this was the second shell this was the third shell now this will be alone a fourth shell okay this alone will be a fourth shell let me draw it properly this is your fourth shell okay so 4f 7 by 2 how we have encountered this particular thing because 4f is the energy level which we have then 4f will be split into 4f 7 by 2 4f 5 by 2 i have already told you how to draw the energy level diagram okay i have already told to you how to draw the energy level diagram in the previous lecture if you haven't watched the previous lecture you should go to the playlist the link of which is given in the description the playlist link has been given in the description you can go to the playlist and you can check it yourself how this energy level diagram has been drawn you can check it yourself okay so 4f 7 by 2 has 8 nucleons so it will be alone a complete shell 4f 7 by 2 has 8 nucleons so magic number 28 encountered you can add these and you will get 28 magic number encountered so this will be alone a complete shell fourth shell now we have fifth shell okay you can see over here we have fifth shell where do we have fifth shell this is the point where we have fifth shell okay so this this is fifth shell this complete is fifth shell so now let us have a look at the fifth shell 3p half has four nucleons 4f 5 by 2 uh, 3p 3 by 2 not half 3p 3 by 2 has four nucleons 4f 5 by 2 has 6 nucleons 3p half has 2 nucleons and 5g 9 by 2 has 10 nucleons so you can clearly fill up these energy levels uh, you can draw the table according to these energy levels so 3p 3 by 2 has 4 nucleons 4f 5 by 2 has 6 nucleons 3p 1 by 2 has 2 nucleons 5g 9 by 2 has 10 nucleons so total number of nucleons is 22 you can clearly add all these nucleons you will get 50 that is the total number of nucleons okay now we will move on towards the next shell as the magic number has been encountered so the fifth shell is complete fifth shell is complete now so we will move on towards the sixth shell now let us have a look at the sixth shell where do we have six shell one first shell second shell third shell fourth shell fifth shell now we will have the sixth shell on the next page this is the six shell which we have 
okay 5g 7 by 2 has 8 nucleons 4d 5 by 2 has 6 nucleons 4d 3 by 2 has 4 nucleons 3s 1 by 2 has 2 nucleons 6h 11 by 2 has 12 nucleons okay and the total number of nucleons from here till here in this particular shell is 32 so you can see okay the total number of nucleons is 32 5g 7 by 2 has 8 nucleons 4d 5 by 2 has 6 nucleons 4d 3 by 2 has 4 nucleons 3s 1 by 2 has 2 nucleons 6h 11 by 2 has 12 nucleons okay so 50 plus 32 that is 82 this is the total number of nucleons 82 magic number again encountered so the sixth shell sixth shell is complete now now we will move on towards the seventh shell so let us see where is our seventh shell so this was first shell this was second shell this was third shell this was fourth shell this was fifth shell okay this was sixth shell so this is the sixth shell and this is the seventh shell which we have with us okay so this is the seventh shell now let us look at the 7 shell. So 6h 9 by 2 has 10 nucleons. 5f 7 by 2 has 8 nucleons. 5f 5 by 2 has 6 nucleons. 4p 3 by 2 has 4 nucleons. 4p 1 by 2 has 2 nucleons. 7i 13 by 2. 7i 13 by 2 has 14 nucleons. So if you add up all these, this will become 44 nucleons in total. Now 82 nucleons had been filled up to here. Up to here. 82 nucleons had been filled 82 plus 44 is again 126 126 is a magic number so this will be what this will be your seventh shell okay so you can see over here this is seventh shell 6h 9 by 2 10 nucleons 5f 7 by 2 8 nucleons 5f 5 by 2 6 nucleons 4p 3 by 2 4 nucleons 4p 1 by 2 2 nucleons 7i 13 by 2 14 nucleons okay so this is what 44 total number of nucleons so 126 is the magic number 82 plus 44 up to here it was from here till here it was 82 nucleons now 44 nucleons additionally filled so 126 that is magic number encountered so this magic number table okay table to find magic number this table also you must practice okay just practice this table practice okay practice this particular table and based on you have to draw this table please note that draw this table according to draw table draw this table according draw this table according to nuclear shell model okay draw this particular table according to nuclear shell model okay you have the nuclear shell model over here okay according to the nuclear shell model levels i rather i should say nuclear shell model levels level diagram okay so level level diagram you have over here energy level diagram this is what this is your energy level diagram this complete is what your energy level diagram this complete is what energy level diagram so you should draw this energy level diagram and after that you should write this particular table but the table should be the table should be practiced so much the the table should be practiced so much that you need not even draw the energy level diagram in order to draw this table okay the the table should be practiced this particular table should be practiced so much that you need not draw the energy level diagrams in order to draw this table okay in order to draw that particular table you need not draw this energy level diagram such should be your practice only then you will qualify UPSC CSE examination okay there is no other way so I told you how to draw the table now in the next class we will move on towards our next topic that is predictions of shell model so table to find magic number I have already told you this energy level diagram how, how to draw this has been told to you in the previous lecture okay and table to find magic number has been told to you in this particular lecture now the predictions of cell shell model we will look at this particular topic in the next class so till then thank you very much jai hind jai bharat